All right, from spills and stains to candle wax drips, your carpet and furniture can really take a beating during the holidays. So here with helpful hints from Checkmate Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning, please welcome George Grijalva. Good to have you back again, John. Hi, Helen. It's you. good to see you. I'm so excited to be back. It's been a while. I know. Well, let's get right to it because people yeah. do have a lot of stains on their carpet, especially if their family's been visiting and drinking, possibly. Yeah. Um, so let's start with coffee. Okay. Coffee stains. Oh, we're on right now yeah. with the before and after. Yeah. Um, anyways, coffee stains is an acid stain, and most people don't realize that, that most of your acid stains take an alkalinity to remove it. Coffee is the exception. So what happens is most people will set their stain because they try anything at home to get this out. Right. They should really leave this up to a professional or call me and I'll give them some suggestions. You'll come on over and help them. Yeah, out. yeah. Okay. Um, the next thing that happens is you have a dog that will uh, pull a row or your vacuum cleaner will pull a row. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, here we go right here. Okay. This right here, we do repairs like this. And the one thing that the homeowner wants to do is they want to call Checkmate to come out there and take care of this for them. So you can actually fix that? Yeah, yeah. Most people think they have to replace their carpet when they get a pulled row. Well, usually I put a little, ro oh, an iron, this is an iron stain. Yeah, and most people, when they get an iron burn, they don't know how to take care of it. That's one thing that Checkmate right. Carpet Cleaning does is we take care of iron burns for them and uh, we can do bonded inserts on this and uh, a lot of times uh, if they call our company, we can uh, make it so it, they can't even see that it was ever there. So that's got to be actually replacing the carpet when it comes to an iron burn, right? Yeah, well, most people, yeah, we actually do a bonded insert with that iron gotcha. burn where we, they have to actually have an extra piece for us to put it in. And uh, we do re-stretches. This is a before and after picture on re-stretches. And oh, you can yeah. really see that's an actual before picture of someone who had a um, wrinkle in their carpet and yeah. then as an after, after we stretched it out. That's right. Okay, leather couches. You also, oh, look at this. This is incredible. Yeah, we're a company that most people don't realize that we do leather repairs. And uh, this is an actual before and after picture that was the original on the left and then when we got done with it took it back to its that, original condition. That looks really good. That's Doesn't impressive. That good? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And then now we have um, candle wax here on carpet, right? Yep. Show us this, how this is uh, one thing that I wanted to show your viewers what they could do at home. Most okay. people don't realize it when they spill candle wax on their carpet that um, what you want to do is you want to plug in your iron, you want to set it at cotton and cotton, if you set okay. it too high you're going to burn your cotton towel and okay. then you just place it over the wax and fill that. I mean, that's that's a really bad stain. I yeah. mean, you can really oh, That's really in there. That's really in there. That was that didn't just happen. And a lot of times people think they have to uh, do a bonded insert or a patch, but you can just place the towel on the on the um, wax and put your iron on top of it. Okay. Now, this how long take, do you keep it there? You want to just keep You want to just keep oh, doing it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You just want to hold it on there until you can get enough of it out. And okay. this can take 20 to 30 minutes, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, the other thing is that instead of me telling you how great Checkmate carpet cleaning is, mm -hmm. the thing that I have learned with most people out there that they'll spend their big money on their clothes, their shoes, their handbags, their furniture, their homes, their cars. But when it comes to carpet cleaning, they really try to scrimp and they try to do it themselves or they try to go with the lowest bidder out there. Right. And I would really recommend that they go with a company that has dedicated their whole life to cleaning carpets, and that's Checkmate Carpet Clean. I mean, we have really put a lot of passion into it. I mean, we clean your carpet. Yes, you did. Because <laughs> we had some wine spills, dog stains, all of that, which yeah. reminds me, so how often should someone, like you've got kids and maybe a dog or two, how often should someone get their carpet cleaned? Well, they should get their carpet cleaned every 12 months, according to the EPA. It's not just cleaning their carpet, it's for health reasons. Right. And that's the thing that really concerns Allergies me. Allergies and that kind of thing. Yeah, okay, that's sure. the thing that really concerns me is that most people will spend their big money on you know, their shoes and their handbags, right. but when it comes to carpet cleaning, they don't want to spend the big, big money. And they should expect to spend anywhere from three to $600. Okay. And uh, so that, that would definitely be uh, something that they would, would want to plan into their budget. All right, well, you can call Checkmate Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning in Portland at 503-317-6413 or in Vancouver at 360-910-3100. We'll also have a link on our website at k2.com.